situation where the medical council, even if it wanted to make guidelines that would be helpful to the doctors who find themselves in this grey area with the sword of Damocles hanging over their head, they can't actually well, do it until they get the say-so from the houses of the Oireachtas in primary legislation to well, give them the power. As I said in your programme, I think your radio programme during the week, Pat, that if doctors need clarity, they are entitled to get it. But yeah. I suspect what we're, what we're missing here tonight, there's still scaremongering about Ireland's top-notch maternal care system, which, by the way, is, as one doctor put it in the Irish Times the other day, we have top-notch maternal mortality. This is despite the fact that we have an underfunded and, and under-scrutinised healthcare system. The maternal care is actually, and the, our maternal mortality figures are the jewel in the crown. Now, to answer your question, if doctors need clarity, they can get it, but we need to hear in much more detail than this programme is giving, uh, advancing the scaremongering about Irish ma maternal health care. We need much more detail about the type of situations doctors are coming up with. Okay. What well, I would favour... No, 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 let me just finish the point, please. I, I want to what ask I would one favor is what, we, what we want to do is to leave doctors in a position to act where they need to, as they do under the current Medical Council guidelines, in women's interests, even when that foreseeably leads to the death of the child. What we don't want to do is to legislate on a health ground, because remember, the 190,000 abortions in Britain up to 24 weeks, some of them up to birth, all of those, or most of those, have been predicated on grounds of health or mental health. Yeah. That is why okay. we have a more right. human system in Ireland, and we need question. to hold on and, to and it. And we know thousands of those abortions, by the way, are Irish women who go there for those About abortions. About 4,000, thank you, yes. But my, 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 my simple question is, Ronald, just to clarify, it, it's kind of do everything that doctors want, but do not go as far as, as legislating for the X case. Is that a fair summary of where you are? Yeah, well, uh, the, the problem with the X case is that it imported uh, a, a, the right to abortion on supposed grounds of suicidal yeah. threat. So that's what the people voted for. <laughs> It, no, it's what the Supreme Court interpreted the Eighth Amendment to mean. The problem with that is there is no credible medical evidence to show that abortion is ever a treatment for mental health. If anything, now right. the debate is when does it cause okay. further problems. Have and can I just say one last point? Uh -huh. The clapping here tonight, I'm beginning to feel how Sean Gallagher felt actually, although I don't think oh, I'll ever run. Oh, that's a low blow. No, I'll tell you it's not. I'll tell you it's not because the clapping, this culture of clapping towards the, you beat down the side you agree with, this is not going to do anything to reassure Irish men and women about the quality of health care. We owe each other the courtesy to listen to uh, each other's min arguments minister, and to test them Minister, uh, what about the X case in, in, in your case? Do you want to legislate for the X case? Thank you. I believe uh, that the judges of the Supreme Court, and I don't know whether Ronan is suggesting that our Supreme Court, which as far as I know, and I'm not a lawyer, Ronan, I apologise, I'm just a mother, uh, oh, no, and I care bit, about but, women. But you're a patronising politician right now, uh, Joan, if I may say well, so. Because I'm pretty, just a son and a brother, and I love yourself. the people in my life, and I you're, care as much about women's health as you just, do. You're just, and, and, and that's great. Thank you. But just let me say this. You're holding out about the Supreme Court. My understanding is that the first thing the Supreme Court does is respect our Constitution. The people of Ireland voted uh, in a referendum to recognise the unborn child. And the Supreme Court, in the X case, sought to address both what the people had voted for in the referendum and their view of what was presented to them in the X case. Now, I wouldn't malign uh, the, the, the reason why they reached that view. They reached that view. The European okay, Court so, of so Human do Rights... do you want to legislate for the X case? I believe that it's appropriate to have legislation, regulation, that gives clarity in relation to this area. And I will go back and say what I said at the beginning that a percentage, a relatively high percentage of all pregnancies end in miscarriage. And when okay, a woman you've made that miscarries, point twice but when a woman miscarries, she needs generally medical okay. attention and there needs to be no lack of clarity in relation to saving okay, her life. Again, That's I my asked simple you the, the view. question the last time. Do you want to legislate for the experts? Uh, legislation, yes or, no? or reg I want to see first of all the report oh, of the expert so group. No, we have a report coming from the expert group, okay, which will I be considered to. by the cabinet. We have to give a statement uh, it to, uh, to 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 the uh, Euro okay. European Court of Look, Human Rights we, by we, the we end have, of this month. We've, we've actually run out of time. Appropriate this legislation. The minister and regulation is, is staying with us like for part two. Senator Ronan Mullen. Thank and you. Professor Jerry White, thank, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, more coming up on that 3.5 billion in taxes and cuts we're facing the budget after this break. Don't go away.